Okay, YouTube, here is my modified ceiling light and exhaust fan. This is the Panasonic exhaust fan that I was working with. I put one of these in my main bathroom. This one's going into my master bath. So this has the Philips high CRI 10 watt bulb in here for the ceiling light and then I've got a quarter watt LED night light bulb and let me show you how I'm going to automate this light. So we'll zoom over here see if we can get this all in the picture here. It's kind of a tight quarters but let's see. So this light I'm going to try to automate a little bit differently. I'm going to try to fit all of the electronics into the wiring box. I think everything will fit. I've got a bunch of Wago connectors here. These are the are lever nut. So I've got a 5 pin for the neutrals. So I've got the incoming neutral. I've got a neutral going to my light dimmer. This is an AOTech light dimmer module. I've got a neutral going to this Monoprice dual relay module and then there's a neutral that goes to the lights and a neutral that goes to the fan. Technically this dimmer is supposed to have a neutral for the load and it turns out I measured the continuity here. The line and load neutral connections are tied together so you really only need the single neutral connection for that. So this, this lever nut here has the hot connections. So there's a hot for the dual relay, there's a hot for the dimmer, and then there's the incoming hot. Or that, what that lets me do that's really a neat thing with Z-Wave, I've got one plug to connect up this ceiling light and exhaust fan, so I plug in one plug into one outlet and I can control the ceiling light I can control the night light and I can control the exhaust fan all with one single plug and one single power cord. So I've already paired this dimmer, that's what I was using in my light bar a couple of months ago when I was testing that out, but I need to pair this guy. Now I haven't hooked up any of the switches here. This is the Monoprice dual relay module. I don't have the switches connected because I don't have any switches to connect. So the idea is I'm going to have a Z-Wave switch on the wall in the bathroom and it's going to talk over RF to this receiver here. Here's the antenna and then this, this other uh, module, the dimmer, also has an antenna. So the switches are not going to be connected at all. So what I need to do right now is pair this device. What you need to do is you got to hit that pairing switch. You can probably see the red LED blinking there. And let's go look at the Vera screen so we can see what that looks like. 